Welcome to the Tempo Learning Tool for Gluteric Aciduria Type 1, also known as GA1. Tempo Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning was developed in partnership with leading healthcare professionals and Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with GA1. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby grows and develops just like any other bundle of joy. What is GA1? GA1 is an inherited metabolic condition which stands for gluteric aciduria type 1. In GA1, the body has trouble breaking down protein which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Our body changes amino acids into other substances or energy with the help of enzymes. Think of enzymes like a pair of scissors. Individuals with GA1 have a deficiency of an enzyme called glutaryl coenzyme A dehydrogenase. The glutaryl coenzyme A dehydrogenase enzyme is used in the body to break down two amino acids called lysine and tryptophan. When someone has GA1, that person cannot break down lysine and tryptophan, which then leads to a buildup of a toxic byproduct called glutaric acid and other substances in the blood and in the brain. The buildup of glutaric acid and other substances in the brain can damage the basal ganglia, which controls movement. Thus, affected infants and children can develop spasms and jerking movements with a rigid body posture, especially after a serious illness. Some of these symptoms are stroke-like and may be irreversible. Long-term problems can include poor growth, abnormal motor skills, slow movement, and learning problems. Babies with GA1 are usually healthy at birth, although many are born with a larger than average head size. GA1 is screened through the newborn screening process with a simple blood test. Your clinician will conduct additional tests to confirm the diagnosis. How did your child get GA1? GA1 is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent GA1. Everyone has a pair of genes that makes the glutaryl coenzyme A dehydrogenase enzyme. In children with GA1, neither of these genes works correctly. These children inherit one non-working GA1 gene from each parent. Parents of children with GA1 are carriers or have GA1 themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit GA1. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. You can manage GA1 through your baby's diet and regular blood testing. There are two main components to managing GA1 through diet, a whole protein restricted diet and a special metabolic formula. Even though lysine and tryptophan are dangerous as someone with GA1, they are essential for normal development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have a measured amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating regular food, foods that are high in protein must be avoided since all protein contains lysine and tryptophan. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and foods with whole protein to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solids, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit intake of lysine and tryptophan. In addition to a lysine and tryptophan restricted diet, a special metabolic formula is essential. This special formula does not contain lysine and provides a very small amount of tryptophan. The formula provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with GA1. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check amino acid and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, 
and current diet and make adjustments to their diet accordingly. Your metabolic team will direct you on how GA1 is monitored. It typically includes close monitoring of small blood and urine samples. Your metabolic dietitian will contact you with the results of these tests and discuss any changes in management. What happens if your baby gets sick? For individuals with GA1, a metabolic crisis causes a buildup of glutaric acid and other substances, which can lead to irreversible, severe problems. It is important to avoid and manage a metabolic crisis quickly and properly. During any illness, our bodies need extra energy to get better, which could mean breaking down body protein. This could raise the buildup of glutaric acid. It is extremely important to start the emergency protocol your metabolic team has developed for you, and you need to contact your clinic right away. Your metabolic team may have you. Stop all protein in food and drinks. Start the emergency protocol made up of metabolic formula and glucose. Always take the full amount of emergency feeds as prescribed. If prescribed, continue taking carnitine supplements. If symptoms continue or you are worried, go immediately to the hospital. Remember, it is essential that you contact your metabolic team immediately if your child is getting sick. Make sure to follow their instructions without any delay. To review, GI1 is a serious inherited metabolic disorder that can lead to severe, sometimes irreversible problems. You can manage GI1 with a protein-restricted diet and a special metabolic formula and carnitine. When your child is ill or not behaving as usual, it is imperative to contact your metabolic team immediately to prevent a metabolic crisis. They will determine the best course of action. Always ensure that you have a good supply of your special dietary products and special metabolic formula and that they are not expired. Continue to give the amount of metabolic formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic and have your emergency protocol. Finally, always have the contact details of your metabolic team. To learn more about GA1 and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com.